Thank you for being my first kiss. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't ask for that privilege. <laughs> Hello beautiful, this is Romy here and welcome back to First Degree. We are here in a little roleplay confession with Minami, even though he's actually confessing to us. We are just roleplaying, right? I don't know, Ray, are we? Minami's hand clutch my arms before his eyes meet my own. Of course we are. You said so yourself. You're just really good at this. Don't worry, I roleplay on this side. <laughs> what the fuck? Can we roleplay something else? What? Yeah, I mean, what else is on your mind? Instead of tutoring, we're roleplaying. Okay. Holy shit! <laughs> Bitch, what? Um, excuse me. <laughs> Leading in, Minami lift up, li lifts up on his toes and presses his mouth to mine. This time it's my turn to freeze as Minami seems more comfortable than he ever has. Closing his eyes, Minami's lips are soft and curious. I, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. I don't remember this. His hands squeeze my arms and I return the Quistella kiss. Did I say quiz? I don't know what the fuck I just said. Kiss de delicately, letting him lead. I feel a soft move. Move. <laughs> Mouth move against mine, but slowly pulling back and then taking another small taste of my top lip. Doing the same with the bottom, he pulls away with a soft click. Both our eyes open, looking at each other across the distance. Thank you for being my first kiss. What the fuck? I didn't ask for that privilege. Uh, yeah, well, I uh, guess if you ever need a second, I'll be here. Ray is so adorable in Minami's route, though. Minami laughs richly, and, and though I've seen him count countless, countless, see, seen him content like this before, has never been quite this happy. As usual, his laugh is contagious, and I join him enthusiastically. We both thrill in a moment of pure joy. As it begins to ebb, I smile back at, I smile down at him and kiss into his pink hair, pulling back my arms slip from his waist. Well then, um, you sure you still want to end it tonight? Yeah, yeah, let's not get any further than that, okay? I didn't even expect the kiss, okay? Uh, yeah, I need to get home and uh, get some rest for the quiz tomorrow. Uh, um, I'll just grab the bunnies. Yeah, and go before my my sure. boy Ray is gonna do something scary. Minami turns and grabs a carrot before dashing into the bedroom, touching my mouth. I smile to myself and shake my head. Shame on you, stealing a virgin's first kiss. He gave it to me. <laughs> Why are you whispering this out loud? Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Almost too quickly, Minami leaves the bedroom and crosses to the kitchen table. Uh, really sorry to run off like this, uh, but like I said, I need to get home and uh, uh, d d do some studying and some other things. It it's okay. No, I... Totally understand. Don't forget to get some sleep, too. Yeah, sleep. Uh, that, too. Bye. I feel... I don't know how to feel. <laughs> Shook. That's the word right now. Minami quickly packs up his things, and I move to the door. As I come to a halt, Minami bumps into me from behind. Oops, uh, sorry. <laughs> Clumsy. I almost feel sorry for him and put a hand on his shoulder. Hey, um... Minami hesitates before he looks up at me. Well, I see you on Wednesday? Yeah, I'll be there. Be safe on the way home, okay? Opening the door for him, Minami manages a small smile before ducking out. Thank you. Good night. I think this one's a little bit different because I feel like in the very first demo, um, we were mostly focused on his bento box, right? Eating it, and then we were saying how horrible it was, and then we would give him tips on to cook better, right? I don't remember, but I feel like that's what was in the first demo. This demo, there's nothing like that. He's already, he's already running away as he says it, and watch and I watch him disappear down the steps before closing the door. Shake him ahead, a laugh, and run a hand through my hair. At least that's what I remember. I'm just hallucinating shit. I don't know. Well, that was the most interesting tutoring session yet. 
Turning off the light in the kitchen, I walk into the bedroom before reality washes over me again. Minami was a nice distraction, but I suddenly realize I have school tomorrow, and on top of that, I have to peer the lead for the worst person in the world. Hitting the bed hard, I groan and find myself st staring at the ceiling. Knowing him, he's probably getting wasted right now. I didn't want to mention it, but as much as relationships can be wonderful, they can be just as awful. That's the truth I didn't want to tell you. October 17th. Oh, right. That weird ass ringtone. Oh, great. Just the thing I want to hear first thing in the morning. I really ought to get an alarm clock so I can keep that shit on silent. <sighs> if he needs me that badly, he can leave a message. What's wrong with my eyes, bro? I see him in about an hour anyway. What could he need at 6 in the morning? He climbs onto my legs and makes herself comfortable on my lap as I glance at the phone again. Best case scenario, he's calling me to cancel class and letting me know I can sleep in. Worst case, he wants to hook up before class even starts. Either way, I figure I can handle it. I unwillingly answer the call. Hello? Please tell me I can go back to sleep. <laughs> he's, is he holding a condom? Why? What'll that get me? Are you just now waking up too? Why are you calling me? My undying love and affection. Well, now I'm tempted to let you go back to sleep. It's the first day of class. What is so important? I need you to replace me, but just for the first class. You're fucking kidding me. I love that they're both sleepy voices. I can't believe they voices. hired you. Let me guess, you were out drinking last night. Do they know how fucking irresponsible you are? Yes. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to say I love both of their sleepy voices. It's so adorable. You could have gone with me. I called. Did you? Yeah, you probably did, but I was busy being an adult. I had work in the morning, tutoring in the evening, and then went to sleep knowing I had class today. Look and here I thought you missed me as much as I did you. Nah. Oh, don't pull that with me. If you missed me, you would have been here and not out partying with whatever slut you picked up. Whoa. I picked you up once upon a time. Do you really want to go down that road? Just tell me what I have to do. Oh, a little mouse toy. I didn't even see that there. Pass out some syllabi, give them a reading assignment, and drop the name cards by my office after. I'll have a special reward for you, Dove. Dove. It better be damn good. I don't... I don't want Dove soap, sir. <laughs> it is. And it also involves me naked. Mm, no, you can keep your clothes on. I'm partially interested. What were you even doing on a Sunday night? Wishing I was with you. <laughs> but, of course, you never answer my calls. Your fault for setting the most annoying ringtone ever. It's not my fault you haven't learned how to change it by now. It's literally two keystrokes. But of course, I like to think you just pretend not to know. And maybe in reality, you sometimes curl up with it on lonely nights to remember all the good times we had. And all the good things I made you feel. Well, bro. We're not down that road no more. I'm over you. You're so full of yourself. Oh, come on. You have time to play a little. What are you wearing? Clothes. <laughs> no, I don't have time to play. I have to... I'm telling you, the class can wait. Now tell me what you're wearing. No, you demanding man. <laughs> I look down as if I have to confirm it with myself and feel the flush both in my cheeks and down my neck. Even my chest is red. I pull the shirt close as if he might be able to see it. Just a shirt. It's never just a shirt, Dove. The devil's in the details. I am not going to play your game. <laughs> it's one of your old shirts and some boxer briefs. Oh, it's his old shirt? Mm -hmm. That sounds enticing. Did you really just call to get yourself off? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Not at all. I was going to return the favor as well. Go ahead, ask me. No, I don't care about you, June. I just want to see the twins. That's all I want. <sighs> what are you wearing? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But you know the best part? I'm looking at pictures of you. 
God, you're so sexy. Wait, are we exes or no? Are we just on a break? Because why do you have pictures of me still? Those private pictures better be staying private. For my eyes only. I'll see you after class. That's so weird. If we're exes and you still have my nudes, what? Fine. See you then. Oh, and Ray? Yes. What? Good morning, Dev. Oh, good morning to you, sir. I blush again and just hang up. If I didn't, I'd be tempted to let him play with me all day. It's his specialty. Even after our rocky pass and an intense breakup, I don't... Wait, is it not really a breakup? I won't deny that we're still pretty crazy for each other, no matter how much I don't want to admit it. Boys well, can get fucked up when I go to another route, because... I arrive at class just a few minutes early, and even after this long, still need to take a mo- Wait, and, and even after this long, still need to take a moment to calm my nerves. I, okay, I've overseen tests, tutored, answered questions, and pretty much played June's puppet for all things outside of the lecture. But facing my first time to address the class on my own leaves me with a few butterflies. This won't take too long, it's the first day, and odds are they wanna want out as soon as possible. For once, we'll be wanting the same thing. June's surprise better make up for this crap. Opening the folder, I glance at the course name, just to refresh myself before entering the room with all the authority and confidence I can muster. As I walk in, the majority of the class goes quiet at my presence, while the rest can't be bothered. Setting my back down forcefully, I clear my throat and begin with the basics. Alright, unfortunately, Dr. Saigyo couldn't make it today. My name is Rei Kuroshima. I'll be your peer leader and Dr. Saigyo's slave for the next semester. <laughs> I would hop out of this class right now. <laughs> the truth gets a spattering of laughs and I realize that most of these kids have no idea what they're in for. I wonder who the victim will be this semester. As it prepares to discuss both the syllabus and index cards, a voice pierces the room unexpectedly. Wait, Kuroshima? Rei Kuroshima? You mean THE Rei Kuroshima! From the Doctor Killings? Hi. You're drawn very different. Okay, the art has changed. For sure now. When seeing internally, I realized it was bound to happen, but I never thought it would be so soon. At least one person in classes read up on current events. Guilty. With any luck, this takes all of five minutes. Wow! I can't believe it's actually you! You're our professor? So Dear leader, Leo, oh, yeah. he's standing in for Professor Saigyo. Aren't you listening? He's so cute. Yeah, but he's like our professor today. I got a fanboy. Actually, today's gonna be a short one. Dr. Saigyo has a very specific way of teaching that you will all discover. So today, we're going to review the syllabus, fill out these index cards, and then you're all free to go. The class whoops and claps excitedly as I begin to pass out the index cards and syllabi. Wait, so we're not going to get a chance to talk to you? Oh. I'm available if you have any questions about the reading or the lecture. And while we're on that, you're expected to read and be familiar with chapters 2 and 3 by Wednesday. I will tell you, it may sound like a simplistic assignment, but I would try for full comprehension. Remember names, titles, and studies, or you'll make yourself and the class miserable. Don't take this course lightly. See here, uh, my memory is real bad with names, so I'm not going to remember titles or studies at that point. With that done, I return to the desk and take a seat, pulling out some paperwork for my last autopsy as they read the syllabi and fill out the cards. I sigh going through the motions and feel like a student myself with the worst assignment ever. For ease, for ease of access, I stuff my phone in my front pocket for whenever I feel the need to check the time. Head in my hand, I continue to fill out the required notes as the students begin to turn in their index cards. Every once in a while, I glance up as the students move past, and every time, catch the eyes of the purple-haired twins who addressed me earlier. Oh great, what do these two have going on? As the last of the students moves by my desk and out of the room, I rearrange the index cards and go through them quickly. In the process, I remove about half a dozen post-it notes complimenting my looks and offering their phone numbers. It's flattering, but they're all girls, and June would have thrown a fit. Looking up toward the two, I stand from my seat and move around to the front desk. I watch them converse among themselves before raising a voice. Am I supposed to mark you two as no-shows? I have them. 
Well, I was kind of hoping to head out, so hurry up. The proper retired student stands from his seat and comes down to join me by my desk. As he hands me the index cards, I glance at both of them. But this is where we're going to stop for today. Because I don't want to hit another CGR. Um, I really don't remember the guy that I like's name. But we're going to find that out in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Touch it, touch it, touch it.